What's going on everybody? Nick here. And today I just wanted to make a quick uh, what's sold video for me uh, here on eBay. Uh, it's been it's been a little while uh, just because sales have, have been slow for me. Um, I haven't been listing as much. So um, yeah, there hasn't really been, mu been much content, content to make from it. Um, but nevertheless, I did have uh, three items that sold this coming Monday and I just wanted to show you um, yeah, what it was and a little little story for you afterwards um, what I'm gonna try to do too with editing is post the sold uh, what they sold for right in the top corner um, so bear with me as I try to try to learn that but the first item that sold today was this tropical pleasures uh, WWE um, divas DVD it has like a um, has like a poster in the inside uh, along with the disc this is from um, my my dad's CD collection, that stuff that he's getting rid of. This sold for $39.99 plus shipping. So I think the buyer was like all in $45 or so. And then the next item is from my health and beauty lot, Amazon. This is a um, a electronic like lint remover. I guess you just, yeah, turn it on and rub it all over your clothes and it removes the lint. This sold for uh, $10.99. Uh, free shipping and then the last item that went out today was from uh, when AC Moore went out of business I just I remember picking these up as a as a kid uh, this is just like a woolly mammoth uh, figurine toy uh, the buyer paid $9.99 for this free shipping so with all these items um, I'm gonna have these two go out with um, first class packaging so it's only gonna cost me around like three bucks and then the DVD can ship out media mail and I just use um, bubble mailers for a whole thing so it shouldn't be too bad um, and like I was saying in the last video I made I keep all my stuff on this my manifest sheets anything that I sell um, from my wholesale so whoops um, so yeah I mean I'll mark it in if I didn't explain it before I like mark it in in highlighting yellow with um, if I sold it or not and on the right I try to guess now um, how much I profited from it just because eBay came out with a new um, sales report method and it doesn't show you like the individual item breakdown of what you what you profit it just gives you like a, a total um, and it also like combines the PayPal fees so it's a little hard for me to get profits exact profits for each and every item individually now um, so I'm just kind of, kind of assuming where I'm at. All right, so just like that, we got uh, all three packages packed up and ready to go. Um, so I'll be putting them in the mailbox today for my mail person to uh, be picking up. And also, quick update: as um, as I was packing my items, uh, we also sold today this Yafex um, double action electric like water flosser. It's like a toothbrush. And water flosser um, so we have that going out and uh, if you come over here to my little bin um, there's whoever it is here these proviable digestive health supplement capsules for pets or something like that I sold this for $15.99 and the Yafex I sold for $29.99 free shipping so I'm gonna have this picked up now Okay, so the story that I want to talk about revolves around this uh, Andis Barber combo that I got in my first Amazon um, return package. So um, the buyer had bought it for like $150, and the day after they got it, um, they messaged me saying one of the the main clippers um, doesn't work, like the the razor just doesn't um, cut. And I was like, okay, well, you know, here you can return it. Um, I provided him the shipping label because I had free returns. Um, everything was said and done that day. He printed out the label. Um, and then I just never heard from him for like a month. Um, I was just, you know, I sent him a couple messages like, hey, you know, are you going to send this back? Like close the return if you don't want to. Blah, blah, blah. Um, a month rolls around, which was actually um, June 22nd, so two days ago, and he never shipped the item, so it was already past the delivery, uh, the shipment date. Still never heard anything from him. Um, 
so yesterday uh, I get on my little door camera um, some guy comes up to my door and just leaves a package and then drives away so I go out there and I grab the package um, and lo and behold it's this barber combo just like in a box he just drove from wherever he was from um, and dropped it off and left um, so a little confusing because it's like you don't have um, you know they don't have proof that they ship the item or deliver the item so eBay is kind of not really able to help them um, and in the same same boat like the guy was late delivering it um, he just showed up to my house uh, which is really strange and just dropped off the package without saying anything you know like if he had told me um, I think that would have been a little more understanding um, but yeah, no, he had no intention of letting me know, or even when he got to the house ringing the doorbell and everything, he just left the package and, and, and left. Um, and in addition, once I opened it, I mean, it, you know, it appeared that the guy used it for an entire month, uh, and, and then decided to send it back. Um, my, my thought, you know, is to like, being the fact that he used it he what probably happened is he wanted the return he got ready to pack it up or whatnot and then he forgot about it for like a month and then um the item was supposed to be delivered by the 23rd so yesterday and i guess he realized that the day before the day of and he said oh crap like i need to go deliver this and he drove from wherever he came from i think it was somewhere in new york um and and dropped it off um so I called eBay and the guy had like no idea. Um, I ended up speaking to their manager and, and basically what happened was like the buyer, you know, screwed themselves cause they, he didn't, um, he didn't provide information. But since I, um, gave eBay a verbal confirmation that he delivered the item, um, what I was able to do, um, I was able to give him a partial refund for it. Uh, so, you know, being that it was used and he didn't, give me a you know prompt a, a, a notification that he was showing up to my house and it was late um, delivered anyway um, so I gave him a, a, a partial refund and uh, what's nice about eBay is since I'm a top rated seller which if you do sell on eBay I highly recommend you try to get to that point the guy complains um, that his partial refund wasn't enough uh, and it gets approved by eBay eBay will cover the other half so I'm not losing any more money um, so I'm going to try to fix this up. I'm not really sure how, um, and then maybe, you know, be able to, to relist it again, either for four parts or open box. I think that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed my content, please, uh, leave a thumbs up button. Um, maybe hit the subscribe, leave a comment on, on what I should do next. Hopefully sales will, will pick up over the next couple of weeks. Um, and then I'm able to make more what sold videos. Uh, maybe even things on the side, like how to pack certain items. Um, if I get a bulk, if I get a bulkier, um, item or just some other, other tips and tricks if you, if you need them. Uh, but thanks again and I'll talk to you later. Peace.